Hey everyone, I'm in FIFA 22 and I want to show you how to play World Cup 2022. The bad news is there is no official mode for this in FIFA 22, but hopefully in FIFA 23, but that doesn't come out until 30th of September 2022. Anyway, what can we do in FIFA 22? Well, we can simulate a World Cup by using a custom tournament. So I'm going to show you that and talk about what's possible and what's not. So if we go into play, uh, and then we're going to go into quick play modes. So I'm just hitting A to go through these and using the D-pad to go through. Uh, and what we're looking for is tournaments. So inside tournaments, you'll find some official tournaments like the UEFA Champions League, uh, the Women's International Cup, but there is no World Cup as standard. So what we can do is go to here, uh, where it says load custom tournament, and move up with your D-pad to custom tournament if you've not created a tournament already. Then choose select. So down the bottom left, if it's a different button for you, it should show by select. So I'm going to choose A as I'm on the Xbox. And then there are different types of custom tournament that you can set up. You've got league, you've got knockouts, and group and knockout. And the World Cup is a group and knockouts type stage. So if we come down here, the World Cup is currently set to 32 teams. So that is already set up correctly, which is cool. We can use autofill teams, but the bad news is on FIFA 22 is that the World Cup 2022 international teams do not match what you've got in FIFA 22. There are 32 international teams in FIFA 22, but not the ones from the World Cup. So you're going to have some that are the same and some that are not. Going down to tournament name, you can change the name of your created tournament. So here we can select Y or whatever it is on your platform and give this a different name. So I've just hit an X or back to change this and I will call it World Cup. So we'll just go World Cup. Um, so we're going to create something similar here, um, but we can't do it identical. Um, but at least it'll tide you through until you get to... FIFA 23 with the hope of World Cup there. You've then got the option down here for advanced settings, and this will allow you a bit more control over the tournament's rules, fixtures, and much more. I suggest you put that on. And then down the bottom left, you see it says A to advance, or it'll be a different button if you're on a different platform to me. So you can auto fill from, uh, and this will automatically fill up the tournament with 32 teams. But what you want to do here is move this across until you get to international, uh, because the World Cup uses international teams. The team rate and range you can leave as it is, because there's only 32 teams in here, so we need the whole lot. You can change the amount of subs on the bench. And the bad news is you can't pick a cup that looks like the World Cup, but you can choose a trophy here that the winner will raise when they get to the end of the tournament. So just pick one that you like the look of. It's not really anything that looks like it. It's a pretty unique looking thing, the World Cup. You can also pick the final stadium. So you can go through these. There's all sorts of stadiums in here, so you can pick them. But again, you're not really going to be able to do the Qatar look because I don't think those stadiums are in. Final match legs is going to be one, makes sense. Teams per group in the World Cup currently is four teams per group, so that's cool. It says the teams advance in the group, you can have two. Um, so I'm going to go with that. I think there's a, some sort of wild card, possibly, but I can't remember, to be honest. Um, but this one, fixtures versus group teams, how many times, how many matches each team must play against one another in the same group, I think is one in the World Cup, so we'll do that. And then you've got your knockout round fixtures, how many matches each team must play against one another in the knockout round of the tournament. Again, we want that as one. So that is all good. We're good there. So we then advance with A. And then it says, which team do you want to control in the tournament? So you can see this has been filled up with the 32 international teams that are in FIFA 22. And you're free to pick whatever one that you want. So I will go and pick England because I live in England. And then down the bottom, you should see it says done with a little button next to it. So for me, that's the menu button on the Xbox. It'd be a different one on a different platform. So when we go through to here, we can then see the group. So remember, I asked this to be automatically set up. I can now tailor these a little bit if I want. So you can see I'm currently in group F with England because this has been randomized. Um, if you hit randomized groups, uh, you can see me hitting that down the bottom. X was randomized groups. That'd be square on a PlayStation. I'm now in group A. Um, and I can keep hitting that and just keep mixing it up. Now, you're free to also tw tweak any of these teams as well. So if I want to have a really difficult group, I could go to Northern Ireland. Uh, so I've pressed A there. And then it's flicked me over to the other side. Uh, and I can flick between the, the groups with LB and RB, which would be L1, R1 on a PlayStation. And look for whatever other team I want in here. So if I want to be really mean, I could chuck... Uh, Spain in there. I could go back with my D-pad and change Ukraine and look for another top team like France or Germany. Let's have Germany so we don't meet them in the final. But you're free to adjust those however you see fit. 
Similarly, on the right hand side, if you want to change any of these groups, we've got L1, R1 to flick between them. So if I wanted to go to this group here, for example, and move Scotland to a different group, it'll then go vice versa. So now I'm using a left trigger, right trigger, which is L2, R2 to flick to a different group and I can swap these around here. So there we go. And that's how you adjust these groups however you see fit. So left trigger flicks through the groups on the left hand side. So I'm gonna go with that, England, Portugal, Germany, Spain. Ow, what a painful group. Um, when you're ready, down the bottom you see it says done with the menu button and then it will start this tournament for us. So we need to give it a name. I already had a tournament called World Cup when I was testing this, but I'm gonna override that. So I'll hit select. It will keep the name that I had there and I'm just gonna override it with done down the bottom right hand here and it'll say, do I wanna override? I do, so that's all good. So then you jump into the tournament here and you can see it will automatically simulate the groups all nicely for us. So we've got the standings, we can play a match. We can flick to the squad by using RB uh, that would be R1 on the PlayStation, and there's my uh, sort of um, formation. Team sheets I can adjust, I can edit players, I can see the team stats here, so hopefully you're all used to all of that. And on the right-hand side here, I hit back to go, sorry, left, L1 to go back to central, and then settings here, I could adjust things like the half length, the difficulty, all of those sort of things here. Um, and you've also got a little news thing that will go through as you go through the World Cup preview. It's obviously not the real World Cup, it's just called that because that's what I called the tournament. You can also see these things like the top scorers. When you're ready to play, you simply highlight play match and that will start the first game, which you can see here is England versus Germany. And that's it. That's how you can play World Cup 2022 on FIFA 22 or a version similar to it. That's the best I can do for you at the minute because there is no official mode. Hopefully that was useful to you though and it gives you some sort of tournament that you can play. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up please. That's much appreciated. Any comments would be awesome as well. And if you like this sort of stuff, have a little look at the rest of my channel. I've got loads of different tutorials on FIFA 22 and of course when FIFA 23 comes out I'll be doing more of the same there as well thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in another video if you like this also hit that subscribe it would be awesome thanks so